Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's product review. I'm Chad Booth. Yes, every now and then I get to do the product reviews, especially when it's the really fun stuff. Today, we're looking at the Taiga RZ2. Let's take it out on the water and see what this boat does. What I'm most impressed about with the, the RZ2 is what Taiga calls the convex V hull. Typically, with a lot of modern ski boats, you have a small hook in the hull like this to help the boat plane out flat so that it will um, create a little wake. There is no such thing on this one. It actually bends up and curves the other way, which means that the natural tendency for the hull will be to drop into the water. You got a great wake for wakeboarding, surfing, whatever you want. But when you do want to ski, all you have to do is incorporate the taps, which is a single mounted Bennett style trim tab in the back. And within an instant, you can flatten that thing out and you can do a slalom course. One of the particular things you like in the RX series by Taiga is that they followed the lead in the pickle fork design, which is becoming very popular. This opens up the front bow compartment of the boat by basically splitting open your traditional configuration and putting a pickle fork design with a third chine in it. And this uh, makes it so there's a lot more roomy in the front. Practically, it makes a lot of space. I still think they're a little bit goofy looking, but I haven't noticed any performance difference at all. I've been able to drop this thing into a turn, and I haven't felt it catch. I haven't felt it bounce me back. So I think it's high enough and out of the way that it really doesn't affect the performance of the boat at all, other than it gives you a lot of space for more friends. Take a look at how much space you actually have in the front compartment. There's no, you know, two people back to back all scrunched up. There's plenty of room here for you and two or three of your best friends, plus lots of stereo speakers everywhere. As a matter of fact, there are 23 speakers on this boat from front to back under the driver's seat on top of the tower in the front compartment, the back compartment, and everywhere in between. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if there was one in the engine compartment somewhere. Taiga takes a lot of pride in their new designed wakeboard tower, and they should. First off, it is collapsible. It'll actually fold down. These parts will collapse. You can put them away in a storage compartment and rest the entire bar down so you can get it into the garage easily, but this, this is the best part of all. You know how hard it is to get your wakeboards on and off on the outside? As a matter of fact, how many of you have ever actually dropped a wakeboard in the water trying to get it in the rack? Well, this is very, very simple. All you have to do is take this knob, take it out like this, and then, boom. You load your wakeboards, your surfboard, your skis on the inside when you're ready to move. Out you go, and you're on your way. You know, for those of us who followed Taiga from its very beginnings, they have really come a long way. They have pioneered new ground. They put a lot of features into their boat. This boat is a high-end boat. It has got a ton of features, and I was just thrilled today to drive it. If you'd like to check it out, then head on over to the local Taiga dealer. And in your case, that happens to be Wasatch Marine.